as an 11 year old looking at myself in the mirror and just saying you're fat, ugly and stupid, you're fat, ugly and stupid over and over. I did not see what other people saw and that was a girl that was sick and just struggling and just emaciated. I was a very average weight child, a very healthy child, but it really wasn't until the fourth grade that recess one day, the queen bee of our little posse um, just started talking about weight and she said, hey guys, I weigh 69 pounds, I'm so fat. Went around the circle and asked, well, what does everyone else weigh? I um, lied and said, I don't know what I weigh, I haven't stepped on the scale in a long time. I went home that day and started memorizing the nutrition labels on all the packaged foods in the pantry and resolved to just eat the least amount of fat as possible in a day. I started just wanting more control over my food and food choices and um, all in efforts to attain my goal of losing weight. This kind of continued throughout that summer, throughout that fall, and then by Christmas break, my parents really noticed I just did not look well. My pediatrician referred me to a counselor that I was diagnosed with anorexia. I didn't know what anorexia was, and I had never heard of an eating disorder before, and I really felt like my parents and the, these doctors were trying to take away a goal that I didn't feel like was a bad goal. Um, why can't I be thin and pretty? This is my thing. You can't control me. I was getting worse, and um, that spring was the first time I was hospitalized. I was living either in an extreme world of treatment and hospitalizations where I was not being showed what a realistic relationship with food looked like or a healthy relationship with my body looked like. When I would get out, all I knew was the eating disorder. Throughout middle school, high school, and college, it was very much a cycle. I would um, go into treatment by pretty much force, be there for anywhere from a month to months, and then I would get out and maybe hold on to a little bit of uh, recovery, so to speak, only to relapse within weeks or months. And so it was just a roller coaster of ups and downs. I can't even count the number of times I was hospitalized. Exercise really began to take a life of its own throughout college and grad school. And I was working out, out up to seven hours a day. And it wasn't so much about being the fittest I ever could be, it was more an addiction. By the end of my first year of grad school, I really picked up the pace um, with my exercise and the day before my second year was supposed to start actually, I remember stepping on the scale that morning and um, seeing the number 79 and I had never seen that since middle school and that was the first time I really remember being scared. I remember praying on the way to the gym that morning, um, God I pray that you would help me make a change today pulled in the parking lot and was getting out. Eight people walked up around me and they all came up to me and just said, Lauren, we're worried about you. We want to take you to the hospital. We called Vanderbilt. We just want to get you checked out. That very night that I was put in that hospital, my heart rate plummeted down to the 30s, which um, had it gone to the 20s, they were talking about having to put a pacemaker in me or having to do heart surgery um, because I would have been in cardiac arrest. I did not want to die and I did not want to have a heart attack at 23 years old. I felt a peace that God was in control and I was no longer in control and he was going to see me through. Realizing where my health was and what it had come to and the fact that I really was on death's doorstep is really what hit home with me. God was already working and changing my heart. He really wanted to work through every little root and trench that there was. The counselor that I worked with during treatment was amazing. She was the first counselor I'd ever worked with that was a believer. I remember talking more about the spiritual warfare that I think is really what brought the wellness um, in my heart change as well. This counselor helped me see myself through God's eyes and not with the mirror or what I thought I saw in the mirror. My life right now is in a fun place. I, for so long, was kind of a drudgery to live my heart is very much in wanting to work with wellness and prevention and also recovery from eating disorders. My eating disorder for so long was a battle of the mind and I really just never felt like I could escape from the thoughts in my head and well, I want people to know that recovery is possible. There is freedom and to believe in that and to never lose hope.